In the early 1970s, longtime Liberal MP Lloyd Francis tried to question the wisdom of extending unemployment benefits to seasonal workers. While you were in government, you opposed some of the changes that were made to the UI system. Can you tell us about that? The chairman of the Unemployment Insurance Commission was Clifford Murchison at the time. And this was the body responsible for administering the program. And Bryce Mackesee was the Minister of Labour. And Murchison recommended to Mackesee, don't do it. It's a permanent subsidy to seasonal industry. It will keep too many people in seasonal employment. And Murchison was right on. Murch everything Murchison said turned out to be true. In January, we would take in consideration these plans and if they meet our... Well, Mackesee paid no attention to Clifford Murchison's representations. And uh, Clifford came to me and told me about it. I went on the committee and I objected to the changes. But there was nothing you could do to stop it. And uh, the amendments to the Unemployment Insurance Act have come back to haunt us today. Because how do you cut back? And the Atlantic caucus was solid for Mackesee. The, you know, he had carefully lobbied the caucus in favor of Santa Claus, giving people in these constituencies uh, fairly substantial sums of money out of the so-called unemployment insurance fund, and it, it was no longer insurance. The strict, I'm sure, the, uh, the level of support... Of Many experts we spoke with criticized the long-term effects of the changes to unemployment insurance in the 1970s. From government's perspective, it was the wrong thing to do because it contributed to a, a decline in productivity in the fishery because it led to fish plant workers and fisheries workers working less than they actually could have because once you had your stamps and you qualified for unemployment insurance, uh, you were better to quit while you were ahead because if you worked and made less money, you would collect less money later on. If you are a fish plant worker in Newfoundland, uh, and, you know, there are hundreds of people in your village and there are only 40 or 50 uh, jobs in the local fish plant, well, it makes perfect sense for the community to get together and parcel out those jobs in 10-week slices because once you work 10 weeks, your income is then guaranteed for the rest of the year. We don't have to worry about you. Bring on the next person in the community. These are ways in which we have created an incentive system for communities to look after themselves at the expense of other workers in other kinds of industries. The unemployment subsidies didn't just affect the fishery. They profoundly altered the work and employment culture of provinces that became heavy users of the program. There were provincial governments, including the Joe Giz government in Prince Edward Island, my home province, that had a political strategy of hiring people through the provincial government and their various agencies for the 10 weeks. Those 10 weeks allowed individuals to get their unemployment stamp. And then they'd lay them off and hire somebody else, including some of their relatives. But the unemployment insurance was federal. So the provincial government could ratchet up the spending of the provincial government and turn it over to the federal government. And we had a formal system of public policy allowing that. Yeah. You mean the government itself? The government was itself. doing the seasonal? Absolutely, the 1042 rule. Individuals very often don't recognize that they're being subsidized. A fisherman who goes out there and does a day's work thinks that he's doing a day's work and he's earning his keep. And uh, therefore he does not uh, consider that he is uh, sponging off the system because he is. Uh, he's got a dangerous job and a hard job and, uh, and he deserves, as he sees it, uh, what fairly modest income he gets from, from the fishery. Um, the, the problem really is that we have used the subsidies to lure people into jobs that are economically not viable. After the uh, recession at the beginning of the 80s, we enjoyed six or seven years of really stellar economic growth. Unemployment insurance beneficiaries continue to go up. Where you have an unemployment insurance system where people need 10 weeks to draw 40 weeks unemployment, or 12 weeks, or 14 weeks, the economy will build itself around the system, you know. So, for example, you have great difficulties in Cape Breton in extending the tourism uh, season into September, October, and November. Now, the three months of autumn are, are three of the finest months in Nova Scotia. You know, we have a lousy spring, we have a beautiful autumn. And 
you have motel owners having difficulty getting people to work there because they've got their stamps.